Welcome. My name is John Davis, and I'll be your instructor in this course. I'm a retired lawyer who spent 35 years in international practice as a trial attorney. When I retired, I decided it was time to share with others my experiences and reflections over those years on the subject of men in our civilization, cultures, and institutions. This series of videos are lectures from my video course on udemy.com. These videos are the entire lectures, but don't contain the resource materials that are available with the full course on Udemy. You can acquire the full course on Udemy at this hyperlink. Let's get started with our course. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to our course. This video is a series of slides. If you need to study a particular slide, please press the pause button. When you're finished, just push the play button and the video will continue. This is a basic glossary of terminology for men's rights. We'll use it all the way through the course. The first word we're going to examine is androphobia. Androphobia is a fear or hatred of men. It is common in Western cultures because of the way the mass media relentlessly portrays men in a negative light. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 is a federal law that theoretically protects both men and women from discrimination based only on their gender. There's more discrimination against men in the United States than there is discrimination against women. However, because of incompetence in our legal system, this law usually only protects women. Misandry is another common term that's necessary for studying men's rights. Misandry is the hatred of men. Misandry is common in Western cultures. You might push the pause button on this video and read the comment from Doris Lessing about the subject of misandry for a better understanding. Another term that's important for our studies is gynocentrism. Gynocentrism is the medieval superstition that women's needs are more important than men's needs, and that men are inferior to women. The superstition leads to our culture's narrow obsession with women's rights to the exclusion of men's rights. Hypoagency is a medieval or feudal concept that women should not be held accountable for crimes or wrongs they commit against men and children. In our modern gynocentric culture, this has re resulted, for example, in many men being imprisoned, while women are rarely even arrested if they commit crimes. Feminism is a political movement that employs misandry, androphobia, and gynocentrism to create a privileged class for women at the expense of men. Feminism relies upon the medieval superstition that women are superior to men. Feminism also relies on the medieval superstition that women can do no wrong and should not be held accountable for their actions. A social contract is an unwritten cultural agreement in which people agree upon traditions and values that serve each other and humanity. For example, there's been a social contract for thousands of years that men fight wars because they love their families, while women are exempt from fighting wars and can remain safely at home. Please review the special terms in this introductory lecture, then go on to the next lecture when you've taken the quiz and reviewed the important resource video. The video is a sneak preview 
of a film about gender studies for men. The name of the film is The Red Pill. Please make sure you watch the video before going on to the next lecture. Thanks. We'll see you in the next lecture.